given question assuming smooth wall and floor determine the force p to prevent the ladder from slipping let us understand given diagram ladder is in point of contact at a with horizontal fixed surface and at point of contact b with vertical fixed surface we have to find out applied force p at point a so that ladder will not slip the surfaces are smooth surfaces that means the there is no any frictional force now if we observe this diagram this ladder is in point of contact a with horizontal fixed surface so we have to show normal reaction so we will draw one perpendicular line to the horizontal surface and this will be normal reaction at point a n a now at point b ladder is in point of contact with vertical surface so we will show here one perpendicular line and this is the normal reaction at point b n b we will consider there is a small displacement of ladder so this point b will move along this vertical line in the downward direction so i will show the new position of this point b as a b dash so we will show here the displacement of the ladder and here is the new position of this point a that is a dash now at point g there is 100 newton force which will act in downward direction now distance a to b is given 4 meter and distance a to g is equal to 2 meter because g is the midpoint and angle theta is equal to 30 degree now we have to find out the displacement at various points if we observe the point a then there is the normal reaction in a this ladder is moving along this horizontal direction and this is the vertical force so displacement along the vertical force is equal to zero now in the same way at point b ladder will move along the vertical line and this is the horizontal force so displacement at this force is equal to zero so we are not going to consider these two forces n a and n b now there is no any frictional force at these two points because surfaces are smooth surfaces now at point a point p that is the force p is applied so we have to find out the displacement along this horizontal line a to a dash so we will say that the small displacement is delta xa so i will show here delta xa then the next point where the forces are applied is the point g so here the this is the original position and this is the new position of the point g that is g to g dash and this g to g dash is known as delta yg so whenever displacement along the horizontal direction we will use x and when the displacement along the vertical direction then we will use y so how to find out delta xa and delta yg for that we have to find out the position of this point a and point g so we will consider the line along this vertical surface is y axis and line along the horizontal surface is x axis now this point c as a origin so suppose this is origin then the values towards right hand side positive values towards left hand side negative values in upward direction positive values in downward direction negative now how to find out position of this point a we will find out distance a to c and for that we will consider the triangle abc so in triangle abc how to find out ac so ac is equal to xa so how to find out so in triangle abc i will write sin theta is equal to ac divided by ab so ab is 4 meter so ac that is equal to xa is equal to 4 sin theta but if we observe it is towards the left hand side so use negative sign so ac is xa is equal to minus 4 sin of theta 
Now we will find out the position of point G. So we have to find out along the vertical line because delta YG is there. Point displaced along the horizontal direction. So I will make here new construction. I will draw one vertical line. Here is the point of contact P. Now if we observe GP as well as BC, these two are parallel line. And this is the same inclined line. So here is also same angle theta. So in triangle AGP, how to find out GP? So I will write here. GP is equal to GP is equal to YG and how to find out so if I take cos of theta is equal to GP divided by AG and AG G is middle point that is 2 so GP is equal to 2 into cos theta now this line is in the upward direction so here positive sign so I will write which is equal to 2 cos of theta. So here we get the value. Sorry here we, I have to write here 2 cos of theta. So we get xa as well as yg. Now it is easy to find out delta xa delta yg. So we will take difference. We will differentiate with respect to theta on both the sides. So I will write delta xa is equal to minus 4 as it is. Now sin theta that means cos theta delta theta. Cos theta delta theta. Now delta yg. Delta yg is equal to. Now here this 2 cos theta. So 2 as it is and cos theta that means minus sin theta delta theta. So I will take minus sin theta delta theta. When we apply virtual work method, then sign convention is the important part. So for horizontal forces or the displacement, we will take the direction towards left hand side with negative sign and direction towards right hand side with positive sign. And for vertical forces or displacement, we will take upward direction with positive sign and downward direction with negative sign. Now we will first take at point A. So at point P, at point A, force P is applied and it is applied towards the right hand side. So we will take positive sign. So P multiplied by this displacement A to A dash. So this displacement is towards the left hand side. So we will use with negative sign. So this displacement at point A is minus 4 cos theta delta theta. So we will take as it is. So P multiplied by minus 4 cos theta delta theta. Now we will move to the next. Now at point G, force is in the downward direction. So we will take negative sign. So minus 100 multiplied by displacement. So displacement is also in downward direction. So this displacement at G to G dash we will take with negative sign. And it is minus 2 sin theta delta theta. So minus 2 sin theta delta theta is equal to 0. So we can take delta theta as a common term and we will transfer to the right hand side. So it will become 0. So minus 4p cos theta now this minus minus will become plus plus 100 into 2, 200 sin theta is equal to 0. So 200 sin theta is equal to 4p cos theta. So if I take cos theta to this side and if I transfer 200 to the right hand side then tan theta is equal to 4p by 200. So theta is equal to 30 degree that is given in the question. So P is equal to 28.8 Newton.